welcome to my final Nails Next Top Nail Artist video. This is the final part to an absolutely huge journey and I have learned so much and I'm really grateful to so many people. Firstly, I want to say thank you to all the people who supported me from start to end. Uh, a lot of you were sharing my link every single week and making your mum vote, your dad vote. You guys are a huge part of the reason why I'm here, so this is for you as much as it is for me. Thank you. Thank you Nails Magazine for allowing me to be a part of this awesome competition and meet some amazing people. And one thing I forgot, I absolutely can't wait to meet the Nails family and Selena and Winnie in Chicago. Here we come, it's gonna be fun. The sponsor for this huge final challenge is CND. In this finale, we've been asked to do five sets of nails on tips, all to do with beauty and the beauty industry. There is a lot of work for me to get through, so I'm going to stop talking now and let you guys watch the video. This is how I made my final five sets. When it comes to nails, what I find beautiful is lots of colour and fine hand-painted details. To start with, for the base of these nails, I painted a rainbow vertical ombre. I then began painting the fine lines with a thin nail art brush and black gel polish. even more colour, I painted the voids with sheer gel polish. Finally, I top coated this design with a matte finish gel top coat. Beauty has changed my life through the friendships that I've forged. Some of these friendships have lasted over 10 years. To honour the friends I've made in the beauty industry, I decided to create an Aztec set of nails to represent a friendship bracelet. I chose to add a lot of textural 3D elements into my design. To add this textural element, I sprinkle the powder or glitter over the uncured gel polish, then cure it for double the time I would normally cure for.
used three different coloured acrylics to create the plait on the pinky nail. To finish off my design, I added some tiger eye gems and also made a 3D Aztec charm. and especially nails is always revisiting old trends. Most nail art techniques have been around for years but they are reborn in different ways. I chose to represent this set with eggs in a Fabergé style. For the smaller eggs I shaped tin foil into the desired size and covered it with acrylic. I then filed them as smooth as possible and decorated with glitter and Swarovskis. For the larger egg, I covered an egg-shaped toy with acrylic. Once it was thick enough, I could pop the plastic toy out. the egg as smooth as I can. I then cover the egg in gel base coat. Once that has cured I paint it with green gel polish and then sugar the whole egg with matching green acrylic powder. For the small daisy flowers, I cured gel polish on greaseproof paper and then cut the shapes out with a flower hole punch. I attached them one by one with nail art glue and I attached a Swarovski in the center. I made large colour change roses petal by petal, twisting them around a wire. Most of the eggs are decorated with flowers to represent the growth and change in the industry. My hair makes me feel feminine and beautiful. So for this set, I was inspired by the feminine colours and elaborate hair of Marie Antoinette. To create the Marie Tartan, I ombre two colours together and then evenly stripe the colours down the nail. 
I striped pink and white sheer gels to add layers to the design. In the final steps, I thinly stripe with white gel polish, cure, and then top coat. large two-toned roses to make a bouquet for the tartan pinky nail. a gel bubble technique. I paint the nail with two coats of colour and then one coat of white sheer gel polish. I dot the entire nail with top coat and then cure. I paint this nail with silver metallic polish and top coat. I then drill three holes in the nail to thread the synthetic hair through. Jan's nails are used inspiration from fashion images on her Pinterest board. I began the design by sculpting 3D roses using a temperature change coloured acrylic. I created a black panelled nail using sheer gel polish. To achieve the 3D texture, I sprinkled black acrylic powder over uncured gel polish and then cure for around three minutes. For the check nail, I paint two coats of sheer red gel, then stripe with black sheer gel, and finally thinly stripe with black gel polish and a long nail art brush. create the raised metallic nail, firstly I covered the nail with rose gold foil. I then painted my design with a thick gel paint. Once I cured it, I coated it with one layer of Russian gold metallic polish. I then used a matte top coat to finish. Hope you enjoyed this video and watching my progress through the competition thank you again to everyone who voted and supported me see you in chicago